You had to go say something, you You tried me. What to go to, babe? Is he worthy? My mask makeup. This stuff smells so good. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't. Let's go. What up? And welcome to a new vlog. <clears throat> I just took out my braids. And I'm actually kind of here for this look. Like it's very poofy and like low-key kind of cute. <laughs> Although I just, I wouldn't wear my hair like this, but like in a way I kind of want to, I don't know, maybe one day. I want my hair to be longer and bigger. And then I'll try the twist out whole situation, but I need to go wash this. I've been co-washing it, as you know, in the braids. And now it's time for me to actually wash it. I'm gonna do that, I'm doing my half up, half down style because it's really cute <laughs> and I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna co-wash my hair right now. I'm not gonna shampoo it. And I'm gonna detangle it and then style that. But welcome to a new week. What up, what's going on? I'm gonna do my nails. Ooh, I should do them. I'll do them tomorrow morning. Yeah, because I want my hands to be free to, to do my hair because what I'm gonna do is the back, the back piece of my hair, the back section, I'm not gonna just bun it. I'm gonna put two cornrows. It's easier to braid without nails, like really. So yeah, that's what's going on, ew. <laughs> Yo, so, okay, let me tell you the story. I hope that you can hear me well. I really do hope you can hear me well. So listen to this horrific story from the airport. So we're in the, first of all, two terminals are combined because of who knows what. So that led to extremely crowd, extreme crowdedness. I mean, it was, it was sick. I mean, I, I, was, I couldn't believe it, okay? So it's extremely crowded. I'm taking United and I'm headed to North Carolina. So it was mad crowded, okay? And the line to go and drop off the bags was mad long. Okay, so we get all that, right? And I'm in line and I, I have to admit, I was in line, but people don't know what they're doing. It was very, it was very crowded. So it was very crowded, right? So at one point, about six people, I don't know if they were a family, I don't know who they were, they cut me. And I don't think they did it on purpose, but I was trying to help a lady behind me. So I turned around and I was like, it's, I turned around and I was like, excuse me, no, the line's not there. And they were like, oh, no, 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 no. So they were like, oh, no, we just, we didn't know where to come. I'm sorry, we, we've been in line for a long time. The line's back there. And then even there was a guy next to me and I was like, was that bad? I didn't mean to. I know the tensions are high. This place is a zoo. And I just don't want to be cut because like, this line is mad long. All of us have somewhere to go. And the guy was like, no, you're fine. It's hectic around here and then whatever. So, you know, it was what it was. And I did feel bad. I was like, oh man, okay. But they were behind me, whatever. It was just, it was what it was, right? So we're going, we're going, we're going. And I saw this black man. I guess he was a black American. I'm just guessing, right? This is just my assumption. And he was in line. You know how you, t you tag your bags first and then you go stand in line for bag check, whatever you call it. <clears throat> so I, I, you know, you're just looking around because you're standing there. So I see him checking his bag and tagging his bag. And then we are in the line, the long line to go and submit our bags before you go into security. So he makes his way two steps in front of me. So there's a lady in front of me and then he finds his way in. He just ends up, uh, what's it called? Like going in front of us. And the lady, I don't know if she knew English well, because I was even trying to talk to her at one point. She, I don't know if she understood me. Maybe she wasn't paying attention. I don't know. I think I'm about to board. Oh. So she didn't say anything. But he, he cut her. You know, he's a tall black man. I think he was black American. Tall black man. He looked athletic. He could be a basketball player. He, he had an athletic build. He obviously had a mask on wearing slides and socks. He just gave me the whole, like, I'm an athlete, this is my uniform, this is not what they wear. So I'm like, okay, fine. So I'm looking like, yo, and, and the line was mad long. So when he cut us, he was well, well past a lot of the traffic. And there was a, there were two white men behind him. And one of them, older white man, steps, like I, like I was looking around like, did I just see what I thought I just saw? And so the guy steps around and is like, okay, really fast, they bought him, but not, not my section yet. So, uh, like, as I'm looking around in disbelief, a, uh, a white man that was two steps behind me, older gentleman, he, all right, <laughs> we're here for my niece's wedding, the one I told y'all about in the vlog a while ago. It's so strange to see her because I used to babysit her and change her diaper and all that, and now she's getting married, so, 
just think about that it's just sick i'll finish the story later i know all right let's get a close-up of my mask my makeup my mask makeup how we doing not decent not good he's so sweet decent from our, but this is so beautiful a little rooftop situation the wedding is tomorrow so we're eating right now outside what is that rally memorial auditorium that's nice mm -hmm. Fashion Nova. This particular brush, I keep my brushes in this Bobbi Brown bag. This particular brush is part of the Amazon brush set Jessup. They work well. Got a video of me doing my full face with these brushes. So make sure you watch that if you're looking for a brush set. Now, I'm gonna take my, bless you, I'm gonna take my wedding and do what? I am looking for my face powder right now. <clears throat> to touch up my cheeks because that's the first step. I have Fenty Pro Filter Cotton Foundation. This looks mad light. I know. From what I recall, this does look a little bit dark once you put it on. Either way, I have no choice. Oh, okay, good. We getting some coverage. Oh, yes. Do you see coverage? We got coverage, baby. Oh, praise his name. He's worthy. Is he worthy? Is he worthy? Of our blessing and honor and glory, is he worthy? Amen. Yes, coverage, she I just always have to add that to the end. It just really does something for me. If you know, you know. Now the problem <laughs> lies where the lines are in my highlighter. What we gonna do about that? Like, I'm not about to apply concealer again. <sighs> and I don't necessarily, first of all, I don't know how it's gonna look in natural lighting because this lighting is all like yellow and bright. But the marks on my highlight, I have to go over with this powder, but this is going to be light, light, light. Now I wish I had <laughs> my lighter powder foundation to go over this and then put this face powder foundation over that to balance it back out again. If you know how I do makeup, that's basically how I do it but with concealer, but I'm not going to put anything wet on this face that is already done. Dang it. Ah, now I, I, now I wanna go to the mall. Now I wanna go to, cause this is something I just need anyway as I'm traveling and wearing a mask. I need to be able to touch up my face without a problem. All right, let me do the lip right now. I'm gonna get this crust. Can you see me? I'm gonna get this crust from the middle from the lips just being closed together for so long. The, the lip stain just builds up there so we're getting that off not gonna do a gloss because i'm doing a mask like hello so the lip still looks really good what do you think comment and let me know the face still looks good that's that's the whole point and let me tell you i was getting mad compliments in the, in the airport and i like that it made me feel like yes you see like Yo, people deal with you differently. Oh, let me tell you the story. Okay, while I have you, right? Okay, because I almost forgot. So the white man that was behind me stepped around like, he, you could, I was reading his body language and to me, it looked like he was thinking, did he just, did he just do what I thought he did? And then I quickly thought about the state of affairs in the US. And I said to myself, I don't think that this man, this white man is going to say anything to this black man. 
I don't think that he is going to. In fact, I was hoping that he wouldn't because it could go real left real fast. And I just deciphered all of that in a matter of five seconds. So we're moving up little by little and I'm like, I'm going to say something because I would like to think that coming from another black person, I'm darker than that man was, the one that cut in line, but maybe it'll be better received. So I was like, excuse me, and mind you, we're wearing masks. So it's very difficult to even speak. And his, his back is toward me. He's really tall. I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. And I don't know if he was ignoring me. And then all of a sudden he's on the phone. I don't know if he's ignoring me or he, what he was doing. And I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. And then he turned a little bit and kind of hurt. I knew he heard me or like saw me as peripheral. And I was like, the line is back there. And then he turned back around. And I was like, oh, okay. So he real bold with it. He real bold with the cut in us, cut in the line, right? So a worker, a United Airlines worker was passing by. I said, excuse me. That man just cut the line. The line starts back there. He literally just finished checking his bags, tagging his bags, and then cut us. I don't care. I am that person. If you don't like it, next video. So... She was like, which one? I said, the man right there. And granted, I'm thinking like, you don't know code. Like, you don't go back and say that it was me, but that's fine. I don't care. I'm grown, right? So she goes, excuse me, sir. The line starts back there. And he was saying something. I can't hear it. The, the terminal was crowded. I couldn't really hear it, but he was kind of basically saying that like, no, I'm supposed to be here or something like that. And then she turns, the lady turns to me. This is an Asian lady. She turns to me and goes, I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see him cut, so I can't do anything about it. I'm like, Jesus, limb of God. You have to make it obvious that I'm the one that said something. Here he go turning around now, and then he's looking at me, tall. He's towering over the lady in front of me. He's like, son, 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 you son, son, son. And I was like, ex and so my, my adrenaline began to pump through my body. You would have thought that I was about to go into war. Like, you would have thought I was about to go into battle. My adrenaline rushed through my body so fast, because all I heard was, and it sounded like what he was saying was, you had to go say something you so i was like excuse me the line is back there so we're like moving 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 right because you know how you move up in line i'm like excuse me the line's back there you cut the line and i saw you and then he was like mumbling saying all this stuff and like turned around and like turn around, like, turn around, turn around. and so we're also moving inching up and i was like yo adabia think about this stay calm because i was like i'm not going to let the enemy work through him to get me out of character so we moved up a little bit more and he was still, it, you know, what? like the competition wasn't even done. So we had to still keep on moving. And there's a lady in front of me who was quiet and I don't know, right? And I'm here with Nini. So he was still kind of like looking around and then he like, it, it, like a lot of things, I was picking up on a lot of things. I think he's very young because at one point, when we were turning the cur the bend of the, the line, he was now right here. Like, he was now, like, right here. Instead of being in front of me, he was, like, like, like this. So, I was looking at him because I wasn't finished. I was not finished. So, he was kind of, like, looking at me, but he was... So, the mask is on. It's very difficult to, like, read his face, his lips, all that. So, uh, you know, he's kind of, like, looking like this, like this. And then he was looking at me, and I just, like, laughed in my mask and I just wanted him to see at least my eyes to see that I think you're such a fucking idiot. So I'm just laughing and I'm like, you gotta calm down. You gotta calm down. He's trying to get you riled up. You're not gonna do that. You're not gonna get him by quick quick, but you are gonna let him know who you are. You are gonna let him know that his mama is a So like I said, he was like like looking, looking. Then I thought, is he nervous? Oh, because when when the lady was there and then he, he started calling me a B word, I was like, excuse me? Are you calling me a B word? Are you trying to attack me? I said, ma'am, you want to be arrested? Yes, I did. I was like, you want to be arrested, ma'am? Can you call the police? And he was like, same, 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 same. And he walked away and she walked away. But I was like about to record him because I was like, you want to attack me in the, in the airport? In this busy terminal? We can do this. I don't believe in black code or whatever the code is. You're going to attack me in front of my child? Oh, yes. I'm going to go to the furthest extent of what I can because you're not going to do that to me. Absolutely not. Okay. So he calmed down or whatever he did and we were pushing, pushing. So like I said, he had, it, got, it had gotten to a point where he was right here. And, and if you're not already picking up, picking up, but I'm dropping down, I'm not afraid. Yeah, he was like looking around, looking around. And then he's like, me, I contact me. And, and, and the way I interpreted the way he was looking around, it was the way I interpreted it. It was almost as if he didn't want to make eye contact with me. It was so strange. So I intentionally made eye contact with him. And I was like, you called me a B word? And I, and I couldn't talk with the full word because my five-year-old son is here. Like, really? So I was like, you call me a B word because you cut the line? Don't ever call me that. 
And then he was like, yeah, you are being a B word. You are being a, uh, uh, but yeah, yeah. Nah. And I was like, you know who I said, do you call your mama B word? Do you call your mother a B word? Cause your mother's a I'm not the one, she is. So call your mother a B word. Cause she's the one who's a B word. I just was so upset. I wanted him to do something because I was gonna take you all the way down. Like I wish you would attack me in the airport. Cause in the airport, we don't play this games. I don't play this. I may be saved now, but I wasn't always saved. I don't care who you are, how tall, big you are. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go head to head with you. I don't care what it is. So, and when I was saying that, he 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 backed down. He was just like walking, and I, I couldn't hear him. But his body language wasn't like it was back when we were a little bit backwards. So he he calmed down, and I said, you know what? I approached him a second time. I'm gonna leave it at that because then I don't want him to look like harassment. But I needed to make sure that he knew that the word he called me is the same word of his mother, his daughter, his sisters, his nieces, his aunties, and his grandma. Because if you want to call me a black woman that you don't even know, your mother's a. And also, this is the kind of thing that I cannot stand. You got all this music made by black men that degrade black women time and time again. And I've never been called a B word by anyone next to the black man and a black American man. Not often, but it has happened in cases like this. The first thing out of your mouth is you you had to go say something really? How about ma'am? And I even, I kept referring to him as sir. I said, sir, you know the line is back there? He was, he was pissed off. So now the first thing you gotta say to me is, have you gone to school? What does your vocabulary look like? Look into your word box. Do you have any other terms available for you to use other than the B word? And that's all I could hear because it was so profound. I'm like, excuse me. You don't even know me from Adam. That's all you know how to say. To say the least, I was ticked. I don't play those games. I don't use the B word with my friends. It's not something that's just funny and sweet to me. Maybe for some people that word is just so flippant that it's not a big deal. It's a big deal to me. I don't know you from Adam. You don't know me from Eve. You have no right to disrespect me out in public in front of my child. He didn't hear it. Cause you know, the airport was busy. The terminal was busy. It's all this noise and, and we're all wearing masks. But I made sure that I was very loud when I said, excuse me, sir, did you call me the B word? Your mother's a He heard that. And he turned around and I don't know what he was doing, but it sounded like, he, it, sounded like it looked like he had just given up. And I'm glad he gave up because I don't play that code of like protect black men. I'll protect my husband and my child. But if you're going to accost me in public and disrespect me, I will be the first one to call the police. I'm that kind of person. I don't care who you are. I don't play those games. You're not going to disrespect me. Last thing you want to do is disrespect me. So I had to keep it real cool, but I was like, no, he didn't. So I turned around to the two white guys behind me and I was like, am I wrong? Because he did cut the line, right? And I asked the older man that had stepped out that prompted me to be like, wait, did I just see what I just saw? And I was like, didn't he cut the line or am I wrong? And I know I was like, no, he cut the line. He cut the line. I saw him. And I could just tell that that man was not going to approach it, which good thing he didn't because the guy is hostile. So it could have went real left. He went left with me, a black woman. How much more of a white guy? And then the other guy, and so the guy was like, yeah, he called you B-word. Yeah, he did. And I was like, I heard that. Thank you. And then the other guy was like, oh, yeah, he cut the I didn't see him. I was on my phone. I was like, oh, yeah, he cut the line. I saw it. I'm not, I, you know, you're just standing. You're not doing anything. You see them at the tag se section, and then you know that the line is way back. Now, this is not a big deal. It's not. All I was trying to say was, excuse me, sir, the line is back there. I am that person. Everyone is rushing to get where they have to go. All you could have said was, I'm sorry, do you mind if I cut you guys because my, my, my flight is at whatever time? Fantastic. Not a problem. There was a family at the you know, baggage area. They were rushing. They were like, my, our flight is in 30 minutes. Do you mind? I'm like, absolutely. I had time. But what I didn't like was you trying to be sneaky and then pretend like you weren't doing what I saw you do and then try to degrade me for it. You a fool for that one because your mother's have a great day. I can't even do it. Like what? Mm -mm. I'm not the one. I'm just not. And I will never be the one. All right. I feel like I need to go over my, oh, my highlight with this. This is not what I want to do. Hey, oh. mm, mm, this is not what I want to do right now, but I'm going to do it. Oh, I was peeing my lip, wasn't I? Mm. Told that whole story with all of this. <laughs> I am not the one, I am not the one today, you 
definitely tried me, but I made you see that I am not the one today. You try me. You try me, oh, you try me. Yes, you did. I don't know why you did it, but you tried me. Mm, 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 mm. You tried me and called me a bee. But forgot that your mother's a bee. Yes, she is. You gonna call me a bee, yeah. I'm gonna meet you in the gut and tell you that your mama's a bee. Mm. With a sore throat, I'm still gonna let you hear this note. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. Oh, yes. You tried me. You tried me, Jesus. And Lord, I told him that his mother was a bee. I sure did. Mm. I sure did. Should I touch up my blush? Now my phone's dying in the middle of my award-winning song. Like, what? <laughs> that song needs to be, it needs to be like an EP. You feel what I'm saying? Extended play. Hello? That's how good it is. Because I don't care. That's when you get a mix of new age and old age. BC. <laughs> AC C is Christ. Before and after I will let I don't know what I'm saying right now. I, I will let you know that you can't call me out of my day if you try. I will reply you if you try me. I will reply you. You call me a bee, and I called your mama a bee. I can't even. Hear. I was so through. Let's do it again. You um, hold on. <clears throat> you call. And your mama is a bee. You tried it. Yes, you did it. But I grabbed it and threw it at you. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Okay, anyway. All right, this is Elf Cosmetics. Always fiery. I was a brush. Blush. Let's fix up this face. How did you get here? No, I like we talked about this in the other vlog vlog, I believe, very briefly. Song soothes me. I sing all the time. It just is therapy for me. It, it's a love of mine. I just sing. <laughs> and I break out in song about anything, as you can see. Hi. I'm still seeing the lines, yeah, right here and right here. Not my gel looking a little crusty. Oh no, I can't do it. I can't wait. Can't wait. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't wait. I can't wait. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. I'm now waiting on my sister and my mother. <laughs> and I want to change. I want to change into something comfortable. I also want to order gallons of water from Instacart because we have a fridge and all that, but we don't have. The water is too far, so I'm gonna do that, and I'll take you along to wherever we end up tonight. How about that? What you wanna do? You wanna be ballers, shot callers, brawlers?
uh, uh, what the? You wanna bumble with the beat, uh? The what, yo? Okay, so look who touched down in, in North Carolina. Looking like somebody who let their kids at home. I sure did, baby. It's adults only. Adults only. I can't do it. I can't do it. So what's what's the oh, what's the prognosis right now? Well, I know you about to go to bed. You about to go too bad. <laughs> you brought your kid to the festivities. What? The festivities. You about to go too bad. Wait. Cause you brought your kid to the festivities. Wait. Show me again. You about to go too bad. Uh huh. Cause you brought your kid to the festivities. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you. Why are you like this? That's what she did. Okay. Not the oncoming traffic. Good morning, what up? I'm about to get ready for the wedding. Do my face watching Andrew Renee on YouTube. Did you know that you can fast forward videos? So if someone's video is long or you don't have much time or you want to get through it quickly, you can fast forward like 1.25 or 1.5. So I fast forwarded her. That's why she sounds so fast. Because I have a lot of videos I want to catch up on. So I have to listen to them fast. Not this girl making me come outside to take her pictures. You look cute though. Oh, okay. Is that how we doing it? She stole my body. Just you know, I'm here with Sissy. Oh! <laughs> We're taking pictures outside. And not the waiter coming out and giving us raggedy renditions of our pictures trying to help us. You doing your photos now? Oh, you want to eat? Look at the bride in the groom. Hey, say hi to the vlog. The servers talked about ECU and all this. We're like, we're not from here. Oh, you. He was talking about you. Oh, that's what he was trying to tell us. They were like, we're not from here. All right. Anyway, okay. Anyway, yeah, so we're here at Perry's. We okay, came outside to out. take pictures. Isn't that so? Listen, Girl, this is important. Let me tell you. Okay, we well, on a first date. How to take you to Perry's? Nope, okay. Nope. Okay, sorry, have that. Gentlemen. Oh, take you to a steakhouse. Ain't nothing less than $100 here, okay? They Can do they? a la carte. Wait, so you want you want them to milk the man on the first date yeah, for lying. an expensive dinner? Yep, they stay lying. They stay lying, so you should milk them for their money on a milk first date. Them. Girl, get the 10 ounce filet. Mm. And then get you every side. And then when they ask for super salad, say yes, sir. I'm gonna like me a soup and a salad and don't eat none of that. Cause shit. not Olive Garden. The super salad ain't gonna come with it. And it's don't separate. Eat. None, not one bite. Like, mm, Wait, no order one. the food and don't eat it? Yep. Why? So I make a day. Oh my God, <laughs> I can't. Let's go. You're a mess. I can't do it. Okay, now we're going back inside. Let's be re review. I hope you like the pictures. They came right. out cute. Yeah, I would like to on my page, page. But everyone is different. You might look at them and hate all of them. Look at the angle. Like, what is he doing? It would have been cute if he. I think you got some cute ones and we can fix it, you know, like. Because I want to put it on my page page. Yeah. Oh, you're too close for somebody who ain't got no makeup on. No, but see, it's cropped to fit IG. This is like, it'll literally fit an IG. I did it for three. Here, I have a lot. I took like a hundred pictures. Ooh, those are cute. It was given, it was given legs. It was given grease, Vaseline, all of it. This one I hate. It's kind of like <laughs> evil. Like, I hate it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it was given like Isla when she's angry. It should be sitting luck. You have a lot, but if you need more, tell me now. I Let's think... just do it now. I don't what? Care. I think you... Look at this. I think you have so many. To me, but I know you. You're picky, so look at it and see so what you want to do. This is, the, this is what I can't stand. Yeah. She got mad pictures, but she's going to hate every last one of them. You look cute. I don't get it. That man tried to come out and take help us take our pictures. He didn't even do a good job. Like what? No. We know what we're doing. We can even use we can use a selfie timer and do better than what he was doing. He tried though. That's nice. Should I sit? I could do some look against. Who's texting me? Hold on. Okay. We're on our food at Harry's. Um, I hope the food is not there yet. I hate my food being cold, but yeah. pictures aren't must. It's, it's very important. 
And the issue too with my mask is if I wanted to take it off and take the pictures, the lines are just a problem. So it's like either the mask stays on in its entirety or actually there's there is nothing else, so that's it. You don't like any of them? Are you no, kidding me? No, hold on. But take it. Yo, when you take someone's picture and you swear you did a good job and then you find out that you're so picky at your phone. I know. Your phone I like it? the Snapchat camera for some reason. But I have that same thing. My do. camera does this. Look. Wait. Okay. My camera does it where it looks like that. Like it goes wide. Are you kidding? Yeah. Like, is this what? See, look. Look. Is that what you're trying to say? Where it's regular, but then it. Okay. The color is different. My color is warm. Okay. But I need to come and see. And then when I take it, I need to save because I'm not posting them. Right. But... All this. Comment below and let me know if you are the same way. Are you the one that takes pictures easily and finds the ones you like? Or are you the uh... one that wants to do 17,000 retakes? Red light special room. Hold on. Not you dancing. Ooh. Ooh. Hi. You look like Aladdin. Oh, yeah, I am not Jasmine. I am Jasmine. Aladdin. That's a no. Book. I am not Jasmine. I am Aladdin. So far, I heard you just swag. See me in this um rum dragon. Like a rum dragon. <laughs> like a dungeon dragon? Yeah. Okay. Is it Minaj? Because you said London dragon. Oh, wait. Hey, you made a permanent home in my head. You moving like a goddess, come my way. What up and what up? Okay, so I don't. No, I don't. I was gonna say I don't think, but I already know. I'm not gonna say I don't think. I did not show you thoroughly how I use the remote controlled lighting on my bookshelf. So let me show that to you because I actually have the lights on this shelf and in my closet. So let me show you because it's so cute. I showed it on IG and I know there were some questions. Okay, so here we go. All right, so you know, I changed out this whole area not whole, but this area, okay? Here's the remote, and it controls up to 12 lights. So, okay, hold on. You have to point it, <laughs> you have to point it toward the middle of the bookshelf for it to turn on everything. Yeah, there we go. So there, ugh, yeah. There's on, but if you're pointing it up, it'll turn on the top ones, but then you can also turn on all of them. But typically, they all come on together. Yeah, there we go. Okay? But yeah, I just love this. I think it's so cute. It's very showroom. It gives you showroom vibes. So just imagine if I had a whole wall of whatever, and then I could turn them on and off. It'd be so cute. And of course, by hand, I can walk up and turn them on individually. But who wants to do all of that? It's just so cute to use this remote. Hello? So this has a different remote. That one remote does, like I said, manage... 12 lights but it's just easier to just take this one so here's the other remote for here there we go and I did put two in the ceiling so can you imagine look how cute that is look at how cute so you see the shelves from from Target and then yeah love that oh so adorable I'll fill that with more shoes I'll be this is not all of my shoes it's just the ones that I'm using to film content it's easier to keep it here in my studio so here's that isn't that so cute comment below and let me know this is my candle stash right now some extras right there love it my fragrances you know that already but yeah I just love this so much I love it I feel fancy so there's the tour on that. Get yourself these shelves. This is one unit, one unit, and then buy the lights. It comes in six. So two, four, six for this whole closet. And then I put, I think six. In. All right, so we went to the pool earlier today and I got a tan. Oh, look at my tan, like, hi, hello. Secondly, I love my new earpieces I got from Amazon. Love them, they look like a black version of the Apple iPod. 
what you call them things that love them a lot <clears throat> the other one for some reason i wasn't able to people couldn't hear me on facetime so if you know me i use earpieces all around the house it just makes things easier and the more discreet not loud not annoying and i can hear what i'm doing right so i have one pair so that it's not always having to switch from device to device i can't stand that i'm like 20 30 40 dollars whatever so i have this one for my laptop then i have one for my phone and that's it really then i have another one in my purse for my phone when i'm out you know so i'm not having to carry stuff all the time with me because when you're out and you want to listen to a video or stories or talk on the phone i hate ugh, just people like, like people honestly before all in the public it's annoying like put an earpiece in they're 20 dollars. like what's your problem so i got a new piece because the one for my computer for some reason they couldn't hear me on facetime which is a problem i like to have conversations and have them discreet and not loud and i need you didn't hear me, <laughs> Obvi. <clears throat> I washed the front of my hair and I laid down just the very, very front because I'm going to put on my curly wig and I'm going to film a video. My goal is to film a video before my therapy session at 2.15. So I have 45 minutes. I wonder if I, no, I have more than 40, I have 50 minutes. Can I do a video in 50 minutes? Maybe, <sighs> but I'll be rushing. Or what I can do is do admin work right now, have my therapy session, and then film. <sighs> we came back from the pool later than I wanted, but we really had fun. I told myself, listen, like it's summertime. I remember years ago when I wasn't a full-time content creator, I literally took the summer off and we just did things every day. Whereas now I'm like work first and I have had to stop. Nee has been home for the past two weeks and it's been a challenge, but it has also reminded me that I can't always work. Nee, you know why? Can I have one snack? What kind of snack? Popcorn. Not right now, baby. <laughs> Go get applesauce, Mina. After I get applesauce, then you're gonna you're gonna get it for me when you're done. After you after nap time, I'll give you popcorn, okay? Why, but Are you listening? Are you listening? You're listening, right? Yes? Okay, go please. I love you. Love you. <clears throat> so I'm just reminded that I need to switch things up. The whole work, work, work all the time is not cute. It's great, but it's like, I can't be a slave to my job. It's easy to just feel like you have to always work. And I'm learning that, like, no, I used to, my goal was, was to post between two and four times a day on IG. And that's still a goal because, like, why not? But then pictures aren't doing as well as they used to. And videos are doing okay, but it's not, it's not the same. And I get it. I'm not complaining. But I'm just like, how do I balance? Not how, I know how already. But I've been thinking about the balance between working hard and doing good at what I do but then not make not becoming a slave to it because the algorithm going algorithm. You're saying the algorithm going algo. You see what I'm saying? So I can't sit here and be a slave to it when it's gonna do what it's gonna do anyway. So that's that. Yeah, I am still watching Has and Have Nots. Yo, I know this is an old series. I know it, right? I'm getting toward the end right now. I'm in season three, episode 16. It is so, it's a lot. <laughs> but I'm still binge watching that. Yeah, let me just do some admin stuff for now because now I'm talking to y'all. I don't have the time that I, need and i do video therapy sessions although i could do a f talking one it's through the computer so i could talk to her but then i can't do my video and talk so that ain't gonna work although i did watch a youtube video one time and the girl did a voiceover and she was talking the whole time but it was it was music and she said she was on the therapy call <laughs> Before a bridal, I'm, I'm gonna film a bridal makeup look. For bridal makeup look, I need to speak to you guys, so that's not gonna work out. Yeah. Anyway, let me see my email. What's going on on email? And even that, I used to be like, a, like I used to be on my email all the time, like all hours. And now I told myself, after four, I'm not checking my email until the very end of the night if I feel like it. Because then what happens is if I check my email at eight or nine and it's something like pressing or like oh, a problem or I don't get a lot of problems, but you know, like content has to be redone or fixed or whatever, it puts a damper on my night. And I don't want that. I remember when I worked in the office, all the stress I would feel over email. And I remember I took it off my phone or like I would disable the ability to see how many I had. You know, when you look at the, the, the app thing icon. But now that I'm a 
business owner and I'm a sole business owner, I used to feel like I had to always be on email and I would respond right away and I was always checking in. Mm -mm. I've learned that I have to put a boundary in place and that after four o'clock, that email gonna wait. If I get up at four in the morning, I'm gonna check it after I finish my whole routine, which is, which is the devotion, reading, and then I check my email. So like five-ish, ish. I'll check the email at that time and I'll address it then, whatever it is. But I don't, and the other night I was tempted. I was like, let me just check. You never know what's in there, but no, it's not okay. It's not okay. So any content creator watching, I encourage you to set boundaries. I have to learn the hard way, but that's fine. I have to learn, I've learned, look at me, post office um, notifications. So yeah, last night I was tempted, but I was like, no, I need to go to sleep with peace and not worry about whatever is in email, you know, whatever I need to sign or accept or whatever. Anyway, so here I am checking my email now. No problems here. Just event invites. I look forward to the days where in-person events get back going, but now we got that Delta variant going, honey. I don't know when that going to be, okay? I don't know when that going to be, baby. If and when that going to be, listen okay I, I was also i was also responding to my community i should look now i try to make sure i look at it midday because if i respond i'll forget that it's four in the morning and then i'm disrupting someone like if i four in the morning like why what is she saying hold on i'm old girl i don't know young gal like you you better stop it <laughs> not high ascent she's so sweet i need you to get on the amazon information girl listen i'm finishing up some delicious strawberries before my therapy session i didn't get to film here we are i use better help by the way betterhelp.com i've been using them for over a year mm, those strawberries are good nice and fresh i ordered them on walmart from walmart grocery delivery i ordered some more stuff and they came this morning and she about to come on real soon they're so good they sent an email when you're what the day of no 24 hours before a few hours before an hour before and 15 minutes before and then the time of <laughs> they do email and text <laughs> they don't want you missing this okay hi how's it going <laughs> frizzy <clears throat> which sometimes I want I I like that I used the curl product it it tamed the frizz which is great I used to be taking care of my wigs more <laughs> that's like a problem but here we are I could do like wax up here but I don't be feeling like doing all that okay this is good enough yeah cool okay I'm about to film right now while Nini is asleep my goal is to film two videos maybe even three we'll see We'll see. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. So if you end up watching my <laughs> my bridal makeup tutorial video situation, you're probably not going to realize it because I smoked out the bottom lash. But... I forgot to put on my bottom mascara and this happens actually more often than I would like and it's because I do my bottom lash line with the eyeshadow and everything and it looks good the look looks put together and then I just completely forget to go back and put this on because everything looks so great and I'm sitting here and I'm like hold on a second something is missing girl it's bottom mascara. I already closed out the video. I already wrapped up the video. I can't even believe it. I can believe it because it has happened before. But I'm so annoyed because it's a bridal makeup look. Like what in the world? I mean, well, I'll make a note in the in the description. But the thing about it is. Some brides are going to want bottom mascara, but the fact is some people have really small bottom lashes and don't want bottom mascara or 
their eyes water so I might used to for some people I used to just skip it because if you gonna stop watering up on me you can't control that mm -mm. we're gonna just smoke out the bottom lash it's gonna look real good but we're not gonna worry about mascara right now because you ain't gonna come mess this stuff up for me because <laughs> now I'm gonna have to fix it that's so annoying <laughs> Oh man, that made a difference too. Look at that. I need to show you the Fenty fragrance. I actually had this before I went out of town last week, but I was busy. Okay, so here we have the new Fenty. Fra I'm trying to push it back in. Whatever. Okay, here we have the new Fenty fragrance. This stuff smells so good. I actually already broke this down into my perfume atomizer <laughs> the clear one i already got a label on it it's already in my purse in fact i was using it while i was in north carolina it smells divine the blue box i don't know the reference of the blue or why because the bottle is brown the bottle at first i was like what what kind of bottle right but then you have the detail around the front and then you have the fenty logo which i love it almost gives shivanshi vibes or is it something different i'm, I'm not I'm, yeah shivanshi right but i like it i think it's unique this smells good wow it almost has a medicine-y type scent to it, flair to it, but not in a bad way. Like not Robitussin. I don't want to sound offensive, but I want to just give you an idea. It's just a very unique scent. It is already out. It comes out on the 10th, if I'm not mistaken. This stuff is so good. I wanted to buy another one. I looked at Sephora. It's not there. But I look forward to the day that it does come on Sephora's website because I'm going to stock up. This is good. Do you understand me? The notes are not here. But this is an EDP, so it's oil-based, lasts long. I'm on hiatus. Check for me.